Peace and gentlemen, welcome back. Got another video that just caught my attention from an article I just read up on here on my laptop. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for real video content. Alright, um, this video in particular is about Antonio Brown. So Antonio Brown can't resist a dig at Buccaneers at the former team's elimination. Let's read about what he has to say. If you thought Antonio Brown was going to take the high road after the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were eliminated from the playoffs, you just don't know Antonio Brown. Okay, so there was in the playoffs. I'm, I'm tripping, man. I, I said something about the Super Bowl and shit on my last video. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. A nigga tired as fuck. Three weeks after Brown quit the Bucks via public disrobing the wide receiver, couldn't resist posting a tweet making light of his former team season ending 30 to 27 loss to the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday in the NFC Divisional Round. His choice of image was himself with a photoshopped Bucks eliminated sign. Wow, I should have got a picture of that one, y'all, so y'all could see it. Brown tweet reflects a relationship with the Buccaneers hasn't exactly strengthened since the time he angrily left the team in the middle of the game. Days after the incident, Brown released a statement through his lawyer claiming he only quit after Buccaneers head coach Bruce Arians pressured him to play through an injury, uh, injured ankle, and MRI allegedly showed the ankle to require surgery after revealing broken bone fragments, a torn ligament, and loss of cartilage. <laughs> damn! I, I mean, shit. I see why he got damn quit. Well, he ain't have to quit. Well, then again, hey, the coach refused to not let him sit out due to injury, so fuck it. I guess he had no choice but to quit. Brown followed that up with his own media tour in which he posted... Screen caps appearing to show Tom Brady's controversial trainer, Alex Guerrero, refusing to refund him money for services not rendered, equated Brady and Arians to home alone villains and said Brady can't do shit by himself. He also denied having mental health struggles and claimed that a couple teams have already called him. Before Sunday's game, Brown curiously published an Instagram post supporter for Brady, so it's safe to say his feelings about his former quarterback and team are a mixed bag. So he seems to still be supporting Tom Brady and a few other players on the team. Drop your comments below. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. It's hard to say how much the loss of Brown ended up hurting the Bucks, though his absence might have been felt against the Rams, Brady finished the game 30 of 54 for 329 passing yards, one touchdown, and one interception outside of Pro Bowler Mike Evans. The Buccaneers' top performing wide receiver was Scotty Miller, who had 38 receiving yards on four receptions and six targets. Damn! Damn, 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 man. Yo, man, shit crazy, bro. Mm-mm-mm. That shit is crazy, man. Uh, okay, so I see something else quite interesting to read about real quick, y'all, before I end this video. If it let me click on it. If it don't, then I'm just going to get my quick thoughts and opinions. My laptop is acting uh, a little shitty. A little crappy and shitty at the same time, man. So, uh, all right. All right, I guess I won't be able to talk about it. It seems like, um, you know what? I'm going to talk about it anyway. Tom, um, Tom Brady and his wife is, well, Tom Brady's having a bit of issues with his wife. Yeah, I, I just seen that shit. I wanted to read it, man, but my damn laptop tripping, y'all. I need to buy me an iMac or something. So, all right, I'm going to say it like this. Sometimes shit happens. You can't win every game, man. Tom Brady is the real deal, man. But at the end of the day, you just can't win every fucking game, bro. No matter how good you is. Did Brett Favre win every game? No. 
did, but Brett Favre was one of the best quarterbacks in this era. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Brett Favre, man. He was one of my favorites in Green Bay. Um, did uh, Jerry Rice or Emmitt Smith win, help their team win every game? Nope. Shout out to all them legends that I'm, that I'm actually calling out right now. The late John Madden, no, he ain't even get a chance to fully play because of injuries. So, you no, know, that goes to show, just to name a few, man. Just to name a few, man. You know, I mean, Antonio Brown throwing a little bit of shade and shots at his former team. But, hey, and now all of a sudden I just see something pop up on my uh, on my laptop stating that uh, Tom Brady is having issues with his wife, man. You no, know, I mean, <laughs> who the, he's probably taking the shit out on his wife, man. He, he, maybe he's taking the loss on his wife. He's taking it out on his wife because his team failed. No, I mean, he can't do but so much, you know what I'm saying, by itself on top of that, bro. So, mm-mm-mm. <sighs> All right, so now it's letting me click on it. So I'm going to see if I can read about this real quick. Antonio Brown always going to talk his shit and run his mouth. You know what I'm saying? I think he had a right to leave, walk the fuck out like he did because of the fact he was, uh, you know, suffering from severe injuries. You know, that shit could just make things worse for his body. Always put your health before your damn, before your career. You know what I'm saying? I spoke about that a couple of days ago. You put your health before your career because you only have one life. That that damn sport is still going to be around. All right, so we're going to read this real quick. Antonio Brown, you're a fool, bro. But I still fuck with you, though, because he was one of the greatest players on the team, too. Aim it, grow, and talk of Tom Brady retiring. It's important to look back on what the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback said about his marriage. But Gelsey Butchin. Uh, back in the fall, Brady admitted that retirement was a very difficult. Uh, damn, see, I can't read right sometimes when I'm damn reading, when I'm damn uh, tired and sleepy. And I'm focused, y'all. Y'all bear with me, please. And drop your comments below. Let me know what y'all think about uh, Antonio Brown, man. Um, very difficult issue in his marriage to the supermodel. Naturally, Gessley would prefer for Brady to retire so he could spend more time with friends and family members. But that's an issue, and it's a very difficult issue to reconcile without just saying, hey, it's time to retire, and I think there's, you know, we're coming to the end here, too. So I don't want to miss any of the kids' stuff. Brady told his co-host, Larry Fitzgerald and Jim Gray, I think my wife has, you know, held down the house for a long time now, and I think there's things that she wants to accomplish. You know, she hasn't worked as much in the last 10 to 12 years just raising our family and kind of committing to being in a life in Boston and then moving to Florida. Yeah, so as, as you see, there's a bit of an issue. Brady is 44 years old, is reportedly non-committable, non-committal on the 2022 season and beyond. This this could very well be Tom Brady's last game, especially if his wife wants him to be, go ahead and retire. I mean, he is 44. He's pushing 50 pretty fast. You no, know, we all age fast, man. So, whew, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess we got to wait and see what the hell is going to happen. Perhaps Brady will finally be swayed to retire this offseason, maybe. The Bucks aren't done yet, though. Kickoff between Tampa Bay and Los Angeles is set for 3 p.m. <laughs> With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button for more content. Sorry, my daughter interrupted. This will be my last video for the day. Um, y'all take it easy. Have a good day. I'm going to be dropping some more videos tomorrow. Give me y'all thoughts on Antonio Brown's <laughs> response to, uh, you know, his team, his former team. Losing and getting smashed in and side out, man. So, damn. I'm glad I didn't put no money up on this on this game, man. And I did watch it, man. It was pretty good. It was decent. They could have done so much more, but some of the team members on the defensive team, on the defensive side, was just fucking horrible. Not doing too much. They could have done better. Come on, Buccaneers. Lighten the hell up, man. You know what I'm saying? Lighten up. Get your shit together now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. 
So it ain't, it's not the end of the world, y'all. It's not the end of the world. I mean, hell, you win something, you lose something. You live to fight another day, right? And to, as far as Antonio Brown go, I don't know what the fuck to say about that nigga. That nigga, he, I mean, he's a great baller, great footballer and everything like that. Hands down, I'm not going to take his talent away. Um, but, you know, dissing some of your other former teammates, that just doesn't fucking add up to me. It's not adding up because, hell, you used to damn fuck with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? You used to play with them niggas. Y'all won games together. Most of them was actually once your real friends, man. And then Tom Brady's, no, he he he's depressed now. He's depressed. He don't like to lose. Hell, I don't like to lose. Anybody who in the, on the face of God's green earth who likes to lose or doesn't care to lose needs serious help. And I know a few people that need serious help. Anyway, with that being said, <laughs> man. I'm a, I'm a sports fanatic. I'm, I was a quarterback for my high school football team. I mean, I played in college. I've been there. I done that. Most niggas couldn't even take a mile, take take a walk a mile of my shoes. And I'm not saying that to brag, but I'm saying that to those niggas on this platform and in person in real life. If you if you been in my shoes and you played in certain sports such as what I played or uh, the things that I have accomplished. Then you niggas in you niggas on this platform and the niggas I know personally in real life will not be talking all this shit. No, to me in general. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, man, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell button. Let me know what y'all thoughts are on Tom Brady. Depression. I, I call it depression. Now, this is gonna cause him to lose his wife. Like he, he might want to go ahead and just retire because if he don't, I think his wife might wind up leaving him. I don't want to bring any bad luck to the man, but I'm just saying. I mean, 10 to 12 years? Y'all heard me read that. 10 to 12 years, she been home what, taking care of the family in the house? Hell yeah, she's a model. And she I think she got a couple of movies out she made a couple of years ago. Hell, let the woman get back to work. It's it's her time to shine. Let the let your wife Gelsey do her thing, man. And you take a break. It's time for you to hang up the damn uh cleats, man. You know what I'm saying? Hang up the helmet and the cleats, bro. Hang up the jersey. So with that being said, man, y'all drop your comments below, smash the like button, and don't forget, see, I, your boy CJ Robinson Jr., will be bringing y'all some more video content a little later. Till then, you all have a blessed day. Stay safe, stay cover free, and um, knowledge is power. Sports is also power. And I am signing out.